Hi guys, hope you are well and today we are going to know about the flowers, the different kinds of flower. Well, the flowers have socio-cultural as well as religious importance. Since the ancient time, the cultivation of flowers has been practiced in India. Not only that, but during these recent years, the view of the flower production has changed. The potential of this sector in generating income as well as employment is high. Not only that, but it also enhances the involvement of youth as well as women. This sector also has a great scope in the export. Now there are different kinds of flower cultivation out of which some are For the first one is ornamental plants These are the showy plants grown from their attractive foliage and flowers They have important place in garden and in pot culture Example Croton Next one is cut flower The flower without long stalks used for keeping in vases Single offering and for preparation of buckets Example roses Third one is loose flower, the flower with stalks used for making garlands, festrons and hair decoration. Example jasmine and crossandra. Next one is fragrant flower, the flower with scented essential oil and are used for extraction of essential oil which is used in perfume industry. Example jasmine. Since we know about the cultivation, so let us move on to the different flower crops. So the first flower crop that we are going to know is carnation. Its botanical name is Dianthus chiriphyllus. Soil required is rich and sandy and the pH should be 6 to 7. Climate required is cool as they are long day plants and the season which they are grown is post monsoon to early spring. Propagation is done by tissue culture. The varieties are Arthursim, Candy, Master. Rivera and Aristotle. Preparation of land is done by mixing of soil and sterilizing it with chemicals. Method of planting is done by growing of polyhouse. Beds are prepared and seedlings are prepared. Spacing is 40 cm into 15 cm into 15 cm. Fertilizer dose is 30 is to 20 is to 20 gram NPK per meter square. Irrigation is done by drip irrigation. Interculture can be done by weeding and losing the soil. In case of harvesting, firm and fully grown birds are harvested and the yield which we will get is 350 carnation flowers per meter square. Now the next one is marigold. Its botanical name is Tagatis. Soil required is light to medium and the pH is 6.5 to 7.5. Climate should be hot and dry. And the season are winter and summer. Propagation is done through seeds. Varieties are Yellow Supreme, Hawaii, Spray and Flash. Preparation of land can be done by ploughing as well as flat beds or ridges are prepared. Method of planting is transplanting of seedlings and the spacing should be 60 cm into 30 cm. Fertilizer dose is 100 is to 50 is to 50 kg NPK per hectare. Irrigation is done in 8 to 10 days interval in winter and 6 to 7 days interval in summer. Interculture can be done by weeding, mulching and pinching. In case of harvesting, just open flowers are harvested and the yield which we will get is 10 to 15 tons per hectare. The next one is chrysanthemum. Its botanical name is also chrysanthemum. Soil required is well rain and sandy loam. Climate should be cool and dry as they are short day for flowering. Season in which they are grown is early spring and the propagation is done through seeds and cutting. Varieties are Indra, Vasantika, Birbal Sahani, Apsara, Himangi. Preparation of land can be done by ploughing and by preparing of flat beds or ridges. In case of method of planting, seeds are transplanted in pots or beds. Spacing should be 30 cm into 30 cm and the fertilizer dose is 400 is to 200 is to 200 kg NPK per hectare. Irrigation is done by drip irrigation and the interculture is done by weeding, mulching and disbudding. 
Harvesting is done when the flowers are fully grown and the yield which we will get is 15 tons per hectare. Now the next one is gladiolus. Botanical name is gladiolus species. Soil required is well drained and fertile. Climate should be sunny and the season is winter. Propagation is done through combs. Varieties are friendship, sansri, suchitra and blue sky. Preparation of land can be done by plowing and by preparing of flat beds or ridges. In case of method of planting, combs are planted. Spacing should be 30 cm into 20 cm and the fertilizer dose is 15 is to 10 is to 10 kg NPK per 50 meter square. Irrigation is done in 7 to 10 days interval in winter. Interculture can be done by weeding and earthing up. Harvesting is done by cutting the spikes when one or two flowers are opened and the yield which we will get is 1,50,000 spikes per hectare. The next one is Zinnia. Its botanical name is Zinnia species. Soil should be well drained from light to medium. Climate required is hot and mild. Growing season are early summer and winter. Propagation is done through seeds. Varieties are Scarlet, Golden Ball, Dream and White Baby. Preparation of land can be done by plowing and by preparing of flat beds or ridges. Method of planting is by transplanting of seedlings. Spacing should be 30 cm into 30 cm. Fertilizer dose is 100 is to 50 is to 50 kg NPK per hectare. Irrigation is done in 8 to 10 days interval in winters and 6 to 7 days interval in summer. Interculture can be done by weeding, punching and mulching. In case of harvesting, loose flower or flower with stalks are harvested. Finally, this is the end of my video and I hope you liked it. As for the next video, it is still going to be on the flower crop uh, as there are 5 to 6 more left. By the way, please subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. So, until the next time we meet, bye bye and have a nice day.